watching Alabama's 13 News. If you coach 11 state champions, you must be doing something right. A local coach has done that, and you likely don't even know about him or his state champs. He's coaching a game that dates back to as early as the second century and is competitively played in 149 countries around the world. It's called a thinking man sport. Here's tonight's Spirit of Alabama report. It's a game of concentration. It's very quiet in the lunchroom here at WJ Christian School, where there are dreams of future state championships. Eyes are focused, occasionally darting from pawn to king to bishop to knight. Not just thinking about the next move, but the one after that and the one after that. You have to say, I do this, he does that, I do this, he does that, and he gets all the way to the end. That's why I teach you to be two pawns up in the middle game. Their teacher and coach is Charles A. Smith, himself a champion player. His teacher was an international chess master. He knows what you might think about the game he loves. It's boring, it's, for, it's an elitist game, it's for uh, extra smart people. It's not fun, those kind of things. Now, which way can you move the king? Charles Smith loves this game and has a passion for teaching his winning technique to young people. He says winners like Kobe Bryant, considered by many to be the best player in the NBA, play chess and see direct comparisons. He comes up the, off the court after a good game, he says, I was playing chess, they were playing checkers. Bill Cosby, uh, P. Diddy. There's so many popular people that play chess. It is not a nerdy sport. It's not a nerdy event, uh, activity. It's an intellectual activity. They call this a thinking man's game. I could be in trouble. Charles Smith works the room like it's a sideline. He watches every move, doesn't miss anything. He's a tough coach, but chess is an elective class. These young people are here because they want to be. It's very interesting and when you play chess, it kind of teaches you life lessons. Like um, one of Mr. Smith's rules is if you touch a piece, you have to move it. So you can say that's like if you do something, you can't take it back in real life. So you can relate things in real life, and it's fun, and you meet new people. He's hard on you, but he um, he's hard on you just because he wants you to be the best because he knows what um, you have inside of you, and he tries to bring the best out of you. So he's a pretty good guy. There's no way your king should be down here amongst these, all these white pieces when he needs to be over here somewhere hiding, trying to survive. What are you doing, trying to lose fast? He likes to win and he wants us to win, so he's tough on us, but he's a good teacher. Most of us like discipline when we see it. Most of us like solid leadership and toughness. You find all of that in Charles Smith. He's convinced he has a special and successful way of teaching and coaching young chess players who will pay attention and listen and give their best. That makes it like I am Kobe Bryant. He's playing his game. He's having fun every day. If I could just get paid like him. But um, I'm, I'm enjoying it, and I'm reaching out for, to the whole community. Magic City Chess U is open for business. So get in touch with us and, and, and make it happen. 11 state champions and more eager, hardworking students hope to make all the right moves in chess and in life. That's the spirit of Alabama. We've made a link to Magic City Chess U. If you'd like to learn more about the classes that Charles A. Smith teaches, you can find that link and see the story again, if you like, at alabamas13.com.